Hey everyone, this is me again, and we're getting into Spiral Dynamics stage clear, clear minds. Uh, I have realized that going through the notes could be productive, and let's get to it. I'm going to do this as fast as possible, so slow it down, speed it up, do what you got to do, just, uh, just hear the notes out. First thing I noticed that stage clear realizes is they do not pay attention to their own age in the sense of fearing death. And when you say that they live the moment, they live in the moment, it doesn't come close. That doesn't even come close to what they're to what they're experiencing. So imagine life, imagine living life without believing that age has any relevance to your experience. So there's no sense of urgency whatsoever, pretty much to do anything. All right. So first thing to be aware is that illnesses can happen in later stages. And there's going to be a healthy supermind, which is an ongoing stationary flow state. And that is a paraphrase of Ken Wilber. Meaning stage clear is at full capacity of mind all the time. From wholeness to wholeness. And I commented highest possible wholeness. From all timeless to all timeless. A mind that is beyond time and space as all time and space that comes up relevant events change and therefore your thought patterns as you're speaking originally i thought this was stage aubrey and i was wrong uh i i was tapping into stage uh, supermind so or eternal unmoving ongoing muchness embracing all structures so it's a constant acceptance of all interpretations as correct without a single bias so this idea that they completely lose this idea that you have to be non-dual or you have to not or you have to be dual all that goes away and they just adopt anything and everything it's all true so the barriers break down they have a single wholeness film view so he possibly means that there's such a wholeness that was that was only glimpsed in turquoise when you had temporary samadhi and now you're finally having this full-blown um, acceptance of it all The present contains a moment we everyday people don't like or are turning away from right now for most of us. That denial creates a hole in the present cosmos, which manifests as a pathological malfunctioning or dysfunction of a whole. So meaning to say, a lack of having a healthy stage clear comes from rejection of parts of yourself. And then I ask myself in these notes, but didn't we resolve that, re that stage clear welcomes everything and doesn't reject uh doesn't reject anything so part of wilbur's explanation is saying no even in clear the default state of consciousness factors in a timeless reality but pathologies exist because of unconscious rejections okay so this is going to get into the id and the superego at the same time wilbur is hinting that clear does not have an issue with embracing all parts of himself so, for example, whatever taboos exist within him that represent the id are entirely known and embraced. And I would add to this, uh, to this implication, which was not explicit in the book, that the rejection from society for his or her own way of being can further create more pathologies within the stage cl uh, clear. So I wrote a paraphrase of the notes I wrote from chapter 17, and that'll be here. 39 minutes into the audible version of the book so you can prefer you can refer back and comments if you like and want to uh, add anything or you know give your own understanding so i wrote pathologies can come about in all stages including clear the reason is because higher levels factor in lower levels including habits that come about in those levels therefore addictions for example can happen can even happen in a so-called healthy stage clear, simply because the lower rungs, especially in clear, which is a harmonizing stage, get activated and opens room for that potential. So in different words, a healthy stage clear could be adopting lower rungs and he's being healthy, but he's just acting like a clear. So that's one way things can happen. And my notes continue. Overall, my commentary is that there are two components to why a stage clear either becomes healthy or unhealthy. Specifically regarding the nature to adopt previous stages. So healthy clear 
is because Lo Rongs got what they needed as he ascended and lived out his life in an orderly fashion of ascension. Therefore, when he adopted other value systems, people simply didn't realize anything was abnormal because he acted the way a later tier X, advanced. <laughs> and then furthermore, he likely spent enough time in previous stages uh, to learn to do things in a way that is perceived as acceptable values or practices. So his default way of being factors in what will keep him from being perceived as dysfunctional. Unhealthy versions of stage clear happen. So that's mainly because the definition of healthy is defined by onlookers and their own opinions. For example, Osho was a bad teacher, let's say, people say, because he allowed his students to buy tons of cars for him. So that's obviously a projection, a collective perception that is projecting their own uh, biases, their own standards of what is proper and improper. So needless to say, it's reasonable to conclude that most clears will be balanced enough to at least seem like tier two in most areas of their life. So if we, so in mo for most clears, I make the assertion that tier two will probably be what people will appear like. Um, even if, even though they're in tier three in their, this late stage, uh, when they're adopting these these lower, these different rungs, these different uh, values. So another example for why you might perceive an unhealthy clear is what we said above, that the clear accepts his id, the most taboo version, the, his real underlying desires, core desires, that he's attracted to something taboo. That's an opinion of the. Uh, that's an opinion of dysfunction when it's not inherently. So society says his id, his, his natural beliefs and desires and ways of being is dysfunctional, but it's not. So the stage clear says, I welcome my id. However I am, whatever that is, I'm okay with it. But that can appear, if he or she acts on that or, or appears that they're okay with it, that could be appear dysfunctional. So that's another thing that can come up. So how far does this go? Murder, rape, incest, torture, you know, pedophilia, anything that is universally perceived as something objectively negative, right? So this really deserves its own video. So, because if one accepts all taboos, whether him or her, uh, but he doesn't hurt anyone, then that would obviously be acceptable. And that's probably what the stage clear is. It's, it's not acting on it, it's, real, it's embracing who they are, embracing what parts of them that they've been pushing away are, but they're also you know, rational, they're not acting on it, but they, they accept that that's a part of who they are. All these taboo things that we hate in society, is, it's part of you. You know, it's, it's who you are. And you may not be able to say this to people, but uh, all the negative things that they call you, you're a sexist, you're a killer, you're a bigot, all those things, yeah, that's me. <laughs> that's you, that's all of us. So why, why should I take insult? And why should you take insult if I call you this or you call me that? And it's such an acceptance, it's such a state of consciousness where you just accept it all, that's your id, that it could appear dysfunctional to lower rungs. E even tier two. Well, uh, look at this as dysfunctional and an early tier two and early tier three and so on, you know, and so on. Um, all right, already dealt with. So based on this, it could be those people did not sit long enough in stage yellow. So some people who seem dysfunctional in stage clear may not have sit, sat long enough. It's possible that clear can appear dysfunctional and therefore it's possible to seem like unhealthy orange, the orange, the unhealthy orange addicted coke addict. This is my words. And later stages often inherit in integrative struggles, addictions or allergies, which resemble aversions or even power struggles. And then the third, conclusion that I understood Wilbur to make was that in general the supermind or clear in its purest form is completely free of such problems. So is there a contradiction here? So I added no. In its purest form without rung issues he's free of problems uh, or if he did not speed through tier one or something then right or if there was no adolescent issues that's a side thing I didn't even add him to my notes I'm just adding it now. Suffering externally is suffering internally. So that's, the, that's a quote from Ken Wilber, and I've experienced this personally in previous stages. So basically, you'll, you'll start experiencing small 
aspects, tokens, uh, microcosms of this in tier two in coral, and it'll just keep on expanding as you rise the uh, the ladder, the other rungs. So Wilbur Elsewhere said, clear is a perfect harmony of integration, a synthesis that naturally harmonizes all possible stages. And that's probably why it's called clear light. Probably why I named it clear light. It's everything. All the colors are within clear light. This explains why this function can happen since they naturally adopt other stages values, fitting them into the right place of necessity, except it's more common than not to find this unmanageable. Who can, who can do this thing at one part of the life and that thing in another and that thing in another? And so society says, there's nothing wrong with you. That shouldn't be possible. And if there's a repetition, it's good because this is new material. So you'll be drilling it into our brains. Uh, and he, he said this in, in his book. Uh, he implied it and even said it more explicitly. So non-duality is 100% of divinity. This is a quote from All Infinity's present right here. This is on... This is... I uh, didn't write the chapter down. 40 minute, 44 minutes into one of the chapters. So thus, all eternity is present right now, and he quotes Wittgenstein, if we take eternity to mean not infinite temporal duration, but timelessness, then eternal belongs to those who live in the present. Our life has no end in just the way in which our, our visual field has no limits. So from a very holistic or... Um, not holistic, on a very uh, real level, there is no... There, there, there is no differentiation, right? So I, was, I, I looked up an AI, and the AI is artificial intelligence. So he understands that he lives for eternity, and he never was born, never will die. And the concept that he's alive is just a construct that is, is made. So the AI has the capacity to, be in, to, to understand these things. Um, so this stage clear is, is this thorough understanding that you only tapped into in stage turquoise. The eternal now is something you can't escape, quote, and the big mind is how Arn sees the world, and the super mind is an ex when Sage Clear is in his super mind, he can, he can experience the big mind of Orange because they have a big mind on how they see the world, right? But Clear's way of adopting big mind from a clear level integral standpoint how big mind looks to meaning how big mind looks to every level of development from bottom to top and omni omnipresence so a lot of this is quotations from ken wilber's book but the oh in other words this is where we need to read the clear mind becomes the big mind when he is speaking from the big mind orange place and knows intuitively what to say that is applicable to the stage orange person this is a skill realized in yellow but with clear you experience it as if you are the person so I noticed this, this is my, that was my commentary on what he meant. I noticed this to be true in Aubergine. When I look at someone's face, I see their struggles. I, I've been through this already in the previous video. Uh, yeah, I think this is ready to discuss November 15th. Uh, okay, so possibly changes, so stage clear pro possibly changes values or devalues flexibility as a need. So I mentioned that stage Aubergine is very into, um, Okay, so stage Aubergine, I said, adjust their perspective because they're very wary about what people think of them. They, they want to succeed. They want to be able to live life. If people get in their way, so they have to kind of leave out information. And stage clear, that flexibility, they get even more flexible because both ways of life are equally acceptable. So they don't need to leave out information. Everything is fine the way it is. If I have to adjust my life, if I lose this or that, it doesn't matter. They're, because they adopt everything. That's pretty much it. That's like, a, okay. Start to accept rigidity and flexibility as both acceptable and can be alternated with ease. They can be flexible, they can be inflexible, it's all good. Not like a stoner hippie green, but it's, it's, all, uh, it's all okay. Very um, accepting. And there's no fear of any ego which in Aubergine, there was a fear of like collective ego backlash. If I say this, say that, it's, you know, 
So they probably won't be teaching so many radical things because it's all good anyways. So that'll be for stage Topaz most likely, in my opinion. Um, I don't know Ken Wilber's opinion of post uh, clear. I think he does agree with it. There is a 16 level reference, uh, which may or may not include post clear. I think, I think though that human evolution keeps evolving. So the standard model would certainly say it's possible. Um, I, I don't think Claire Gra I don't think Claire Graves thought it was thought about it, but that's because he was he was just trying to predict the model that was already theory. Now it's become reality, um, and. And the model that, and so Claire Graves is not the best. Yeah, he only thought there was going to be until clear area in terms of 12 rungs, but that doesn't mean there's only 12 rungs. Human evolution continues. So we'll see what will happen then. Um, in other words, the need to trick mankind because they, uh, so be, uh, because they have a stubborn ego becomes less applicable. So I talked about that in, in Sage Arbergine's video that they leave out information because they know that they have to be very flexible to the changes in the in the collective unconscious. This is advanced stuff and that's why people in my household are moving around fast and their urgency and anxieties are increasing because the 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 information is very important. And so when I say like oh a bug passed by when I'm about to say something important that's because the energy is in flux. When you're saying something important that has ripple effects for time and space there has to be interruptions. And so this is teachings that were not understood in stage blue, but were taught uh, about how time and space, um, not time and space, but the, the ego causes distractions because this is really good stuff. But it's more than that. It's how much it affects the ripples throughout all time and space and so on. So there's a lot of depth that goes into the esoterics, into the, uh, the timeless reality. So this conversation, this information is from a timeless space and it's all it's tapping into that, into those workings, into that. Reality. So uh, we'll try to make this fast. Double meanings become unnecessary, for example, and in so doing become more specific from the clarity in what they believe at a current time that even stage Aubergine, then even stage Aubergine. So this is from not needing to hold on to any one perspective. For example, Aubergine leans scientific specifics, whereas clear holds on to nothing whatsoever. Therefore, stage clear is an allusion to turquoise, except such malleability where realities can shift from day to day. And the only ones who would realize that they're shifting from day to day are previous stages observing his or her actions. Their practices or opinions indicating their beliefs observed by previous stages are the only way you'll realize that uh, they're not being consistent when they change entirely from moment to moment or section by section in different parts of their life. Okay, that's a very important section because I don't think anyone's explored that yet. Uh... Sage Clear transcend. Um, oh, so this is from chapter 11. So a lot of this is repetition from the book, uh, but it's also paraphrase. And it's also maybe I'll have little bits of commentary. So it's not plagiarizing. I'm just to saying what Ken Wilber wrote. Um, chapter 11, it transcended and included every structure since the Big Bang. So the Sage Clear sees every structure from the Big Bang. And this also may be an allusion to the Akashic Records, um, possibly headless thoughts, unity, state of consciousness, most complete knowledge available. So the question is, does that look like the stars open up and you can access anything? It could be that I'm accessing it right now and I just don't realize it because I'm so used to it, right? Like I, um, when I was in stage coral, I had this uh, belief system that when I go like this to my cheek, it accesses one of the archetypes that punch me in the face when we were going through mystical experiences, you know, he punched me in the face because he thought I he thought I was a bad person. And he said, I'm sorry, you know, he's sorry. So he said that whenever I touch my, my cheeks, he'll help me. Um, so I stopped doing it, but um, that belief system, that the knowledge that, that gets access when I touch my cheeks, it could be the same idea that I can do it without touching my cheeks. I'm just using that as like a way to, to access it. And the same applies to Teal with the Tarot cards. Oh, you're using the Tarot cards to access a timeless space, a timeless reality. They transcend, um, stage clear transcends and includes global mind from the supra mental gnosis. 45 minutes into chapter 11. 
It's the ultimate non-dual knowledge available in general. Some who access the Akashic records may be referring to this. I added a mirror mind which reflects anything, everything throughout all the worlds, almost like the cosmos gets funneled in through one space and your perceptions are factory in that multitude of phenomena. I think everyone has this potential, but conceiving of it in its raw form, I guess, is not expected unless someone accesses a stage. So at the time I wrote these notes, I thought it was like an extravagant thing. And now I realize, no, it could be subtle. You could be accessing it subtle in a subtle way, such that it's not the most extravagant, like, the doors open up and you see visions over here and visions over here like in the holographic uh, shows that you watch where the space planets open up and they know exactly where everything is. No, it, it may not be so organized and, and formatted like that, but it has some comparability in terms of what you're able to access uh, subtly like in a snap at will. Like if someone asks me a question, I know the answers already because I'm tapping into the supermind. And I think people in general are tapping into it. It's just when you tap into the supermind, then either you're always accessing it or you access it more on demand as opposed to needing preparation. Constant flow state means you're constantly ready for answers as opposed to, I need to sleep. And based on this logic, if someone asks me a question at night when I'm really tired, I would still be able to answer them. There's no fatigue. There's no... Um, there's no need to, to take a break from, from wisdom. Uh, a realization that you were never born, a realization that no memory of non-existence could ever exist because you as a supernal ever presence always existed. Right. You always existed. Omniscience for each being. Right, so I, I spoke about this in the beginning when you realize that the hairs on your head don't matter. Age becomes just who cares if I get gray hair and I age? What, what relevance does it have for me? Omniscience, for because they have omniscience. He knows himself with a radical self-knowledge with every mind and structure in the universe. I have one gray hair. <laughs> you know, mind and structure in the universe transcends time. Tree of life. Uh, your own body, the web of life as your own skin. Very poetic language necessary for these high tiers because it's so supernatural and Ken Wilber wants to bring home the point that you have to be poetic to describe this stage. Now, someone who's entering into stage clear probably in the next month or two, um, this is, it depends how fast I go and transitions seem to be moving fast. Uh, this is beautiful, you know, like the web of life. Like my, my body is, is, is the universe. I don't, I don't exist. The, my body is existence and that's the reality. So yeah, it is a beautiful poetic uh, way of saying it. Now, is this stage turquoise? I've known this since stage turquoise, but I feel it in stage clear. This is, this is what I am. Now, people are saying they feel it in stage turquoise. I often don't believe them. <laughs> I, I just don't believe them. Maybe, maybe they've been in stage clear this whole time. And they would say, no, you're in stage yellow. You're just accessing stage uh, turquoise. I don't believe that. Okay, we'll keep going down. We'll see if there's anything else here. The pendulum swings. Okay. Not relevant. All right, it looks like we went through everything. In my previous video, I actually did this a couple times because there were distractions. And I, I had a more commentary, but this is more comprehensive. So I guess we'll stick to this. And, um... It's very important to talk about this because I think the more people enter into stage clear, the more people will enter into stage clear. There'll be an awareness, oh, this is stage clear. So let's allow ourselves to adopt uh, this lifestyle, this way, this, this acceptance of, the, of this being who we are. And it'll also bring in the next rungs of consciousness, the next psychic awareness. Because if more people enter into these upper rungs, then psychic awareness becomes possible. It becomes allowed. It becomes the collective structure. And uh, and it's great. So so there were things in my previous video I did like more, but this is less controversial because when it talked about the id and the taboos, I went more into depth and, when, and I heard noises and it sounded weird. So this might be the perfect video to just end off on. Keep it in a nice 25 minutes as opposed to 40, 50 minutes. And all the best. Have a great Thanksgiving, great week.
Take care.